Matthew 13, verse 44. The parable of the hidden treasure. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field, which a man found and hid. And for joy over it, he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Verse 45, the parable of the pearl of great price. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant seeking beautiful pearls, who, when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Verse 47, the parable of the dragnet. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a dragnet that was cast into the sea and gathered some of every kind, which, when it was full, they drew to shore, and they sat down and gathered the good into vessels. But through the bad away, so it will be at the end of the age. The angels will come forth, separate the wicked from among the just, cast them into the furnace of fire. There will be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Jesus said to them, Have you understood all these things? They said to Jesus, Yes, Lord. And he said to them, Therefore every scribe instructed concerning the kingdom of heaven, is like a householder who brings out of his treasure things new and old. Verse 53, Jesus rejected at Nazareth. Now it came to pass, when Jesus had finished these parables, that he departed from there. When he had come to his own country, he taught them in their synagogues, so that they were astonished and said, Where did this man get this wisdom and these mighty works? Is this not the carpenter's son? Is not his mother called Mary, and his brothers James, Joseph, Simon, and Judas? And his sisters, are they not all with us? Where then did this man get all these things? So they were offended at him. But Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor, except in his own country and in his own house. Now he did mighty works, many mighty works there, because of their unbelief. 